everyone to Fox and Friends. Still to come on our show this morning, O'Reilly on Rosie O'Donnell's turf. But first, Senator Rick Santorum is currently fighting to defend his seat in one of the most heated and most watched Senate races in the country. And joining us from Pittsburgh is Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum. Welcome, Senator. And Senator, you've been described as the endangered incumbent. Um, what's the single issue you think that's given you the most difficult time with the Pennsylvania voters? Uh, you know, I don't know. I think it's probably just the overall uh, environment out there. I mean, things uh, things have been tough here in Pennsylvania from the standpoint of, uh, you know, the war and its unpopularity. There's a, a legislative pay raise issue that uh, Republicans got tarred with, and I think it's sort of the overall negative environment. But we're, we're cutting through that right now. We feel very, very good. We had a series of debates uh, over the last week, and we feel like we've gotten a great lift from that when people now are starting to focus. My opponent has been invisible. Uh, he's completely disappeared from the radar screen. One commentator said he was in the witness protection program. I mean, he was doing two campaign events a week, uh, basically trying to hide, not talk to the voters about anything, uh, not, not lay out any, any issues. And we went through two debates, two televised debates, one radio debate, and he said virtually nothing. Uh, he just dodged, bobbed, and weaved. And I think people are now starting to see this is, this is a guy who doesn't really want to be a senator. He's just running for his fourth political office in, in, in six years here in Pennsylvania. And uh, you have someone who's worked hard, who's delivered, uh, <clears throat> who's making a difference for the state. And, and I think that's, uh, that's what's got us the momentum right now. And uh, I think it's going to carry us through to Election Day. All right. So your competitor is Democratic State Treasurer Bob Casey, right. Jr. You know, Senator, a lot of people would argue that even if he is in the witness protection program, that that would be OK because people are going to come out and vote against this war. And unfortunately, that may not be good news for you. Well, uh, you know, I think people in Pennsylvania are going to vote on a variety of issues. Uh, I think they want to they want to see what uh, what the senator from Pennsylvania uh, is going to do to keep them safer. And uh, if you watch those debates, it was very very clear who understand the national security understood the national security or, uh, uh, situation in this country, uh, who under who had plans and ideas and has actually accomplished things to make us safer, uh, both overseas uh, from overseas threats as well as threats here at home. Uh, and someone who, again, uh, is, you know, his name is a famous name in Pennsylvania. He's put his name on the ballot and uh, has pu put forth no new ideas, no solutions to anything, and doesn't even understand the basic issues. That's why uh, I've been challenging him to, to more debates so we can get into uh, more of a discussion. I'm, I'd like to see at least, we, we only did two debates in the two major markets. We've got four other media markets in the state. And uh, we'd like to do, I'd like to do additional debates, whether televised or uh, radio. We can do them over the, over the phone if his schedule two, day, two events a week is making him busy to, to do appearances. Uh, we can do them over the radio, uh, radio where he can uh, you know, sit in somewhere secluded and make the call from. Senator, it, it seems to me that a lot of people are saying this is almost a referendum on President Bush. Um, no two people, I assume, are identical on issues and views. Um, is there some particular issue where you differ from the president? Well, the, the biggest one that we've campaigned on is the issue of immigration. Uh, I don't support the president's position on immigration. My opponent, oddly enough, does support the president on immigration. Uh, we've, uh, we've been very clear about uh, his support for the Senate bill, which is uh, provide Social Security benefits for, uh, for people who are working here illegally and uh, doesn't require people to pay to back taxes and, and also obviously gives them a path to, to, uh, to citizenship, which in my opinion is clearly amnesty. So uh, we're on the other side of the fence of that. I've been for, for border security first. My opponent's been for amnesty first. And uh, again, the president and I obviously very, very different view on that. Senator, you are the third most powerful senator in the GOP. I think that's why so many people are surprised when they look at the recent polls. Do you expect any kind of an October surprise to come up in the next couple of weeks, or do you have a plan to try and take control of these polls? Well, uh, you know, I, I've always said throughout my political career, uh, my opponents win polls, I win elections. And uh, I've been behind in a lot of the races that I've run, and, uh, you know, I feel like we, we're very good closers. Uh, when the people start to focus in on what's important, uh, that they, they're electing a senator for the next six years who has to go down and fight for the interests of Pennsylvania and, and make, make this country safer and more secure, uh, they're going to see someone who wants to do the job, who's running for his third term, uh, who's in line to be the number two elected leader of the United States Senate, uh, as opposed to someone who's going to be, um, uh, you know, he's already waxing about, you know, running for governor. Uh, and this is not a guy who's committed to, to going or, or being in Washington. It doesn't want to make anything happen there. Uh, doesn't have any plans when he gets there. And I think that's going to be the big difference uh, as people focus uh, down, the, down the stretch in this campaign. One quick question, Senator. In light of the fact that you differ President on immigration, and in light of the fact that the Republicans hold the Senate, and you're a very powerful uh, uh, Republican in that U.S. Senate, um, have you spoken to the president and said anything about immigration? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, 
President, <laughs> they know very, very well my position, and uh, we've had uh, several discussions at our at our meetings. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can work something out uh, to uh, to continue to improve our border. We we did a fence bill, which is vitally important. Uh, that's something that the folks in Pennsylvania were very loud and clear about uh, as I campaigned through the state. Uh, we need to do more to uh, uh, to increase our security, and and then we need to look at uh, you know how we're going to deal with employer verification and and, and setting up a, a temporary worker program without providing amnesty. All right, Senator Rick Santorum, the election just a few weeks away. Everyone will be waiting to see what happens. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you.